Folks, Sunday afternoon, welcome aboard the tri-generational slash Margu campaigns coming live at you. We're short a couple players. They will be here shortly, so do not fret, do not worry, do not be concerned. Thank you for joining us on this fine August afternoon. Uh, you're in for a real treat because these guys are under another time crunch. Don't forget, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap like this shirt or this phone case or a duvet cover or a shower curtain. Uh, I don't know. The link's down there somewhere. Uh, we put out new cred stuff. So if you're a Cthulhu fan, yeah, there's a couple of designs there, courtesy of Carol. Uh, don't forget, if you want dice that roll really well, uh, like New Big Red here, uh, check out at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, they do customized dice. They can uh, maybe make some for you or maybe just ignore any PMs that you send them. Uh, hard to say. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, because ours smells like success and carnage, uh, pick yourself up some Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Uh, they have a plethora of different scents uh, that they have and <laughs> most uh, are excellent some are excellent to give to others such as putrid sewers they also make something called the shine system that helps you write much more gooder than me so if you're a budding author check that out uh, also their kickstarter for how to rpg with your cat is coming at you uh keep an eye out for that uh, we will tweet out the details when that Kickstarter goes live. And if you're going to Gen Con this year, they can use a little help at their booth and they're willing to pay money or goods. So check them out at oddfishgames.com. Uh, folks, this is the Margu Tri-Generational Campaign. Let's introduce you to the players and then we'll do a quick recap because it's been a couple of days that since we played. We will start with the veteran, the senior member. Frank, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. I am Frank Sr., the old man, and I play <clears throat> Leaf, the cleric druid, fill in the blank, actually very, very less than considerate. And I'm in the mood for some wanton destruction today. Uh, as luck would have it, I have prepared just such a recipe, uh, and we're going to mix it in with a lot of fun. Uh, Jason, you are up next. Same question, different answers. Uh, hello, uh, Jason playing Copious Fullbitters the third, the Gnomish Witch, the Debonair, Suave. Uh, Needs a jacket. I'm still, I'm hoping to get to the Capitol so you can have that tailor making my good soldier's <laughs> admiral's <laughs> jacket, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen tonight because I think we're on a dragon hunt and not something that Copious has any desire to be on. You're down two players. It'll be fine. Uh, AJ, up next, who are you? Who are you playing? I am AJ, and I am playing Felix Graff. He's the human rogue druid who uh, is the group's degenerate drunken gambler that enjoys getting himself into tight spaces. And loose spaces. Well, you know, it just depends. I knew that one was coming. Last but not least, uh, Nicholas, how about keeping it short? This time we only got two hours. Agent Haggis Crapstain, at your service. There you go. Okay, uh, <laughs> last time, these guys decided, well, a couple times ago, but including last time, these guys decided to go ahead and rebuild uh, Smidgey's Roadhouse, which was the victim of an unprovoked attack by a dragon for shame. Uh, but these budding entrepreneurs have managed to gather the survivors, as well as a hobgoblin tribe and some halfling help uh, from Triorki. And uh, they have ventured forth here, not without a few bumps in the road, uh, but they are in the process of day one setting everything up when the government called. Uh, members of the Roadhouse Guild stopped by and pointed out shall we say, a plethora of problems, including uh, failure to uh, correctly fill out HR slash six and <laughs> HR slash seven for sexual harassment. Uh, these guys have been given 27 days uh, to get everything in order and appear at Thornfield, the capital, which is six days away from Thorn or from Triorki. These guys are a day and a half away from Triorki. So 
TikTok, the timeline is hurting. Uh, these guys have surmised that uh, the dragon that they actually slew, although some jackass generals taking the credit for it, uh, probably has a treasure hoard somewhere in the mountains that uh, they have recently visited. Uh, the vote was close, uh, but the vote says they're going to go off, find the treasure hoard, become rich uh, bastards, and uh, live out a life in luxury. Uh, in between that is the military, bounty hunters, a potential dragon, uh, a trek into the wilderness with no idea where they're going, and 71 other treasure hunters uh, in 12 different groups all vying for this horde. Uh, we begin on the evening of what we call day one of their 27-day torture. Uh, you guys have set up camp. You have gotten everything fleshed out. Uh, Heineken, your shall we say, forewoman has been persuaded to remain here loyally uh, for a percentage cut of the profits once the building is made up. Uh, and you have already witnessed uh, three groups head north into the expanse. Uh, you guys, well, two of you, Leaf and Robert of Zeppelin, have already killed an innocent person riding a horse uh, and have returned. Uh, innocent person? There was no aggress aggression there. <laughs> they were the bearers of knowledge. Uh, you guys have, are all aware of the time constraints given to you by the twins uh, from the government, from the uh, Roadhouse Guild. So you got some time, uh, but you are missing all but one mount because Felix uh, left the rest of the mounts in Triorki, uh, but not Buttercup because, by God, Buttercup is important. Oh uh, yeah! Did so, I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, end of day one, what do you guys want to do? Uh, first of all, I would just like to point out that I didn't abandon the mounts. I left them at the stable with Idget, our new stable boy. Wham! He, he's going to take great care of them until we get back. Just saying. Yeah, because you've known him for a long time and you trust oh, him. Of course. I've known him all of, what is he? I've, I've been known gone three, day, three days. I've known him three days. Yeah, solid. Solid reference there. <clears throat> Okay, uh, they're going to work as long as they have daylight. Uh, so you guys have about an hour with the daylight. It is the end of day one. Uh, everything has been sketched out. Uh, Heineken has really made sure that everybody's nose stays to the grindstone. We did have a uh, differential work group problem that has been sorted out as well. Hobgoblins v. Halflings v. Humans. Uh, but fortunately, Robert's charismatic attention also repaired that problem by threatening to kill all of them. So uh, a meal is will be served uh, every night, every morning, uh, with a little bit of sustenance at lunch. Heineken has got it all squared away. To the best of your opinion, it does not appear as though she is going to have any issues. Uh, again, Three of the 12 adventuring groups have already headed north into the cliffs. Do we know what direction? I mean, north, but were they all sort of together heading the same direction or did they appear to go <laughs> crossways? Nobody has any idea. So uh, We have a start, don't we? We have a map. We have a map. A, a map, yes. Did you... Uh, at, didn't we have you ask your satchel for a map to the dragon's lair? I was just going to ask that too. Yes. And it didn't produce anything. Well, yeah, it did. It's on Main Street in uh, Thornfield. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't say it didn't produce anything. That's, well, that's a misnomer. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't ask the right question. You, you got the answer to the question you asked. Where's the um, dragon? There? I, I tell it we want need a map to where the red dragon we killed came from. 
Sure. Uh, I'll ask the question of the scroll case. <laughs> It'll give us a map back to the ruins of the end. <laughs> it produces zero results. I, I don't think it, you know, it, it doesn't produce, it doesn't produce stuff out of whole cloth. It's whatever's been put into the scroll case. Uh, who wants to D12 against me? I think Crapstain does. Yeah. Crapstain, you can. Crapstain. This is 12, right? Yeah. Seven. Uh, your paramour, one of the triplets, uh, is hovering close to you. And she points out, why are you looking for the dragon? Huh. Me? Oh, yeah. She, she doesn't care about any of the others. Okay. She's seen you in all your glory. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Who is this person again? One of the triplets, the bar. You know, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the memories come flooding back. <laughs> um, what of the thieves that stole all your clothes? Not yeah, but um, you see, the dragon burned down the other one, and we slayed the dragon. We need to find the other. We need to find the cave and flush it out. You know, to see if there's any more dragons there, and we will save this land from dragons forever. But I say it, you know, hotly towards her. And I roll to that. Yeah, persuasion. <laughs> uh, uh, Jason, does it bother you at all? Fourteen. That your son is able to glibly lie like that without cracking a smile. You know, there's, there's a lot of pride, a lot of emotions mixed up. Yeah, there. yeah. Oh, I'll bet. I'll bet. You know, I, I'm thinking when he turns 21, you don't have that much to worry about. <laughs> no, no, no. The, those are some of the worst lines I've ever heard. Of. But. In this case, it does pay off. Uh, you offering to save the land has touched the parts of her heart that have never that been right. opened. Spread the word. <laughs> oh, no. She's going to keep you for herself. And, and she, she it's points what... out that, well, if you're headed that way, you have to kind of go that direction from where it came. North. She is not pointing north. Which direction can I insight which direction she's pointing to? No, you can look at her hand <laughs> <laughs> and determine she's pointing kind of northwest. Okay, are any of the other, um, just from looking in that direction, are any of the other um, explorers going northwest? One of the groups is headed northwest. Because, how big a group? <laughs> uh, Wait, um, how big is the group? And then I want to. Snap a my uh, five. five. So I want to get the rest of the party's attention. And say there's five groups over there, and we think the dragon is coming from that direction. Now you guys do realize this is a big area, right? Yeah. Because I mean, you guys are doo -doo 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 here, and the area that you're going to be searching is here. And the area that you discovered a lot of problems is here. That's the ruins we were at? Yes. Oh, I've got a feeling those ruins has a lot to do with it. Well, is it... Is, <laughs> we woke in a dragon? Well, I was going to say, is it is it possible to um, make an insight roll for the ruins to see if anyone recalls anything that would suggest a dragon had been in that area so we can rule it out potentially and start somewhere else. I'll give you an insight check for that. Well, there were a lot of flying creatures in the ruins, so it could have been, you know. I don't remember anything about going down in that. There were flying spiders. Or I, think that I wrote a 27. I just remember being torn up by slate pieces. That's all copious remembers. Uh, Leaf, uh, yeah, you don't remember anything about that. You you don't recall any dragon scales, any hint of a no. dragon. I remember that. spiders. A lot of spiders. That wasn't the time Frank threw a chair through a portal and it hit you in the face, right? 
No, that was in the village. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was in the secret hideout of the Thieves Guild. Copious remembers that. That's such a good one. That, that, was, good. that was pretty good. That was pretty <laughs> good. So funny. Copious, yeah. <laughs> Copious has a roll scroll called his scroll of grudges, and that's so the, commonly the, featured on that. So the green arrow and the cross, is that indicating the ruins or the ruins are the check mark? Uh, the ruins are the check mark. Uh, okay. The, the arm, She's pointing in that direction. Okay. Yes. Well, then we need to head in that direction, guys. It's that simple. Is it With morning a, or evening? But there are five people, five um, travelers going in that direct direction. A, I don't think a, they know where it is, but they're going that way. No, that's fine. We'll deal with them if we Wait. need to. But so, I think we need to get a good night's rest before we head out. Well, that's the question. Are we going to try to move off the road and head in that direction and camp somewhere? Or are we going to stay with the group on the road before we move out? If we stay with the group, we can all get rest. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So first light, we're heading out to the northwest, more or less following the arrow from the, the half yeah. of the girl. Yeah. Yellow is never going to come back. Can we identify the characters of the other group that are walking away? Have we all seen? I'm assuming that Haggis has told all the members of the party at this point what he's found out. But He, he has. Uh, there, there are 71 adventurers, uh, which is what the role said. Um, can you tell? Yes, you can tell that some of them know what the hell they're doing, and some of them are bumpkins looking for a cheap gold piece. Uh, it is a hodgepodge of individuals. Hoggis D12 against me again, please. Three. Uh, the, the group of five headed northwest looks tough. Um, this is the not five going be their northwest first rodeo. to them. The ones going northwest are tough. Yep. Okay. But they're heading out at night, or did they head out earlier in the day? Uh, they just headed out about an hour ago. Okay. So you can safely assume that either they are night owls, and they will travel under cover of darkness uh, to avoid getting eaten, or they're going to head out uh, get a little head start on everybody else because I mean uh, you got five, uh, five and seven is the first group out. Are they mounted? Nobody is mounted, and all of these guys came from the area of Raglan, presumably uh, Generalissimo bragging Cole about killing Victor. Yep. Mm -hmm. It'd be a good time if we had a mount. Yeah, should carriage. we go back and pick up the mounts? How far away is Triorki? Well, how much yeah. gold do we think is in there? Because we, if it's a lot of gold, we're going to need... It's, it's it's a long way off. I can turn into a whale and just swim the gold. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat it. You can so, eat the gold. Like, like As we bunk down for the night, think through this, though. When we leave to go on the hunt, do we have one of the workers or a couple of the workers at the site go back and get the mounts and bring them up to the work site? While we sleep? No, well, potentially. I was thinking, while we're, if we're going into a mountainous region, I don't want to have to worry about the mounts falling apart. It's no. breaking a leg. But if they are here at the, the work site, when we come back, then we can haul yeah. tail... Without well, we leave, uh, yeah. what's her name, Honey Bunch, to uh, deal, take care of that for us while we're going. Heineken? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said it. I thought that was her name. Uh, Leaf, that's going to cost you another HR slash seven. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe those guys are still here, are they? No, but I'm sure the complaints will be lodged in a formal agreement i assume yeah. they left a stack of those forms do, oh. do you want me to set up the the actually and out. Go and get there i have felix's name and Philippe's name already oh, on come on <laughs> got all three names you just have to circle the one that's yeah. responsible. <laughs> or the whole group <laughs> might as well yeah. get ready i think that's a good idea to send them back to go get the bounce yep so do you want to do that Day two, okay. Uh, Copious, your idea 
roll your persuasion to see if these grunt construction guys can persuade Felix's best closest friend that they are indeed on a mission of uh, urgency. Uh, wow, a 13. That's kind of low. It's very low. Okay. You will have your answer when you return. Uh, All right. Dice, you, you guys know how my dice rolls go. High, highest skills I have don't mean anything. When you're do we want to? Do we want to follow the road all as much out as we can tonight? So then in the morning we just go straight off the road. Road goes left, right. We're we're sleeping with the campsite tonight, so no one okay. has to come watch, and then we'll take off. That way we can all get a full night's sleep. Leaf can regain his spent spells and skills since he killed that innocent messenger. What? I don't know what you're talking about. You can do penance. Uh, let's see. Uh, Felix, roll a D8 for me, please. Three. Anybody going to keep watch or are you just going to have the grunts keep watch? I think just the grunts, right? So that way we can all rest. Fair I have nothing to gain or lose, so I don't mind staying up one sliver of time. Uh, yeah, except he might have one thing to lose if that uh, triplet comes knocking around here again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? If he goes to sleep. Um, Haggis has to sleep in the middle of the party. Where's my <laughs> Get a chastity belt. I, I, I can, I think, With set a tin up can. a party. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you guys are sleeping. Uh, you wake up the next morning. Uh, everybody, perception check, please. A 27. 14. First one of the night. 14. Uh, only Leaf overhears some of the workers talking uh, that ghosts uh, were out and about on the perimeter's edge last night. Uh, and they believe that uh, there was a victim. What? Mm -hmm. I'll pass that information on, and I'll say we ain't got time to deal with this shit. Wait, no, I want to. I want to ask. Want to ask? Because <laughs> you know what ate that? What I want to see the remains of the victim as we're, before we head out. I want. I want to make sure this is a real, <laughs> a real thing. I think you need to leave it go. No, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that twisted creature you birth is what ate somebody. <laughs> but it got on the the, the I truck. I have no with idea Hugo. what you're talking about. The wagon with Hugo. I resent that. Hugo no, you resemble that. North. There's a difference. It could have killed Hugo. I, I love how the party's like, we're all going to do this. Uh, let's do this. Hey, we're all going to do this. Uh, Why don't we yeah. split up? I'm getting my pack ready to go and having some breakfast. I Me too. What the Me hell too. I, think, I think splitting up is a great idea. Me too. I'm getting my pack ready. Heading up. Yeah, I'm ready. Copious, uh, do you want to get in line for the grub or do you want to uh, inquire more about this strange set of circumstances? I can't do both. Number one, wait, let me rephrase that. This is copious. He's going to turn to that uh, missing finger orc child. Yes. Tell him to go get my food and get my pack ready so he can talk to the. <laughs> What's the point of indentured servants if you can't use them? Slave. I believe that's called slave. <laughs> it's slavery, <laughs> but with extra steps. They work for each other. It's you society. Said, <laughs> they you work said for the, each the other. Django off to get your food. <laughs> So that, that makes you... Uh, Frodo was his official name. <laughs> You're going to have him taste it first to make sure it's not poison. poison. Or urine. <laughs> uh, he'll, he'll head off. Yes, a masocopius. Uh, <laughs> but he calls on that one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, you know, uh, it's only a joke. Your jokes are horrible. I don't care. But send the complaints to recycle bin. Uh, I watched too much Gone with the Wind. Uh, so Copious Leaf has pointed out uh, where he heard it. Uh, you correctly identify the individual. It is a halfling. Uh, and he looks a little bit uh, scared, a little irritated, a little tired. And uh, he sees you coming, immediately picks up a shovel, and he... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Work, working hard, sir, working hard. <laughs> 
I'm picturing part of a business. cool hand Luke vibe going on in the work camp at the moment. There's a lot of dirty dozen activity here. <laughs> You're probably going to get kneecapped. Uh, but yeah, he sees you and he immediately starts to work uh, achieving absolutely nothing. Ask him what he heard. Oh, you mean last night? Yeah. Shortly after the witching hour, I heard the unearthly screams of a poor unfortunate uh, probably having his soul snatched away coming from that direction north. Uh, Take offense to that, witching hour? Hey, I, you're, getting, I, you're getting grub. I'm taking offense. I'm taking offense at that because I am a witch. I'm going to... Copius is going to become indignant and say, and, and <clears throat> I want to I want to roll a deception or uh, I want to try to lie to this guy. Okay. Say, well, your rolls have been spot on today. I, so. I it sooner it has to turn <laughs> at some point, right? <laughs> No, it's not right. Okay, I'm going to say, don't you worry about that. We we have defensive measures in place. That was the group that has gone out, and I'm going to I'm going to reference Haggis's lie about how we're going out to take care of the last dragon in this area, and that's what happens to shirkers who don't do their jerk their work. We're kicking them out of the work camp, and they're on their own, and they can get eaten by the next dragon that comes along. Anybody else waiting with bated breath on this roll? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, is it persuasion? It is. No, it's, it, it's deception. Deception. Uh, <laughs> One. <laughs> no, still a dirty 20, because my two <laughs> stats are persuasion and deception. Persuasion and deception. That was so close to a nat 20, oh! but it was an eight. Uh, so he buys it hook, line, and sinker. Uh, and he mentions uh, he's already sent out one other group to go investigate. I'm going to tell him to get him back here. And hurt. I'm going to tell Heineken to get these work groups back in the area and watch out for an oddly egg-shaped creature with an orange octopus head. You are not I see it. Uh, giving... I see it! <laughs> You you are not giving uh, the warm fuzzies to everybody with that description. No, nope. not trying to. The okay, sooner the building's nice. put up, the sooner there nice. will be safe. It's a male. D twelve against Cucopius. Uh, seven. Uh, that is all he says. Okay. So we'll be back. That's all the copious is doing. Good I'm luck on the sure. dragon hunting mission. Make sure Heineken's aware of the conversation and then moving on. As uh, as you finish with the conversation, uh, here comes Frodo. Uh, you know what? Why don't you roll a d20 and see if he trips and throws your food everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> 17. Nope. Uh, he brings oh, man. A, a beautiful steaming pile. Yeah, you can quit picking on him. Apparently, he's over those low rolls now. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm going to look at it. I'm going to compliment Frodo on his on his work, and I'm going to ask him if he got any food. And if he didn't, I'm going to make sure to give him some of what he brought to me. Trying to build those loyalty modifiers in this character. <clears throat> I helped make it. I only dropped the spoon once. Excellent. Copious, nonplussed. Excellent yeah. work. Excellent work. We're going to train you on a skill. He's, he's still working, you know. <laughs> Don't still tell working. him stable boy. That's right. Still working through it. He's not going to be stealing key rings very often. This um, is our outreach program. <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, the internship that you're building. <laughs> Uh, so you guys are, are all fed. You got all geared up. You've recovered all your hit points. You've recovered your spell slots. Everything's ready to go. Uh, Copious, you are aware that group number four has ventured forth due north. I'm hoping they get eaten by the egg creature. So we're heading northwest, right? I think what we need to do is head west and then cut north after we get out of sight of the camp. So what Haggis suggested, uh, sort of lie? Yeah. 
pretty much. So you guys are going to take the road west. Yep. Until like so we're over the hill. Just until okay. we're over the hill, and then we're going to head north. Uh, Leaf, go ahead and roll a D4 for me. D4, D4, D4. Uh, three. Three more groups head out. One to the northwest, and they have... Another group of five. One north, group of six. Ooh, and eight go northeast. Hey, once our group has moved away from the work site, I'm going to talk to the others, and I'm just going to pose this question. Do we take out any groups on our way, or do we let them all search? I'm sorry, yeah. have you been playing with these guys? <laughs> I, it's still worth asking. Well, we may need to restock our supplies. Well, I'm thinking we don't have to kill them, but if we can, not, you know... Why disarm them and take all their stuff and leave them butt naked in the middle of the woods? They'll go back. Ah, uh, Haggis, are you familiar with this? <laughs> we could get a finger for that child. Like, if we take a finger. Wow. <laughs> oh, kind. So, wait a minute. so Haggis is, is, is suggesting that we do we, what the French did to English bowmen in the Hundred Year War. Correct. Take their fingers so they can't draw a bow. But we send them back to their moms and their <laughs> wives. <laughs> Well, I think what we'll probably have to do is pick out the two toughest guys in each group, take them out, tell the rest of them, what do you want to do? Or we tell them that the creature ate them and we lie and make them scared to not go any farther. I like Haggis's thought process here. Except you're going to kill him right in front of him. <laughs> yeah, the well, creature, no. creature shot him with that bow. Well, we just, you know, we, hey, my buddy's hurt out here. Can you open the door and come help? What door? Yeah, uh, uh, come come over here, away from your camp, and help us with your buddy. Out in the yeah. dark, but leave your sword and your bow. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we because we looked so innocent. <laughs> There's been Good a terrible plan accident. Could not go wrong. <laughs> yeah, we might as well hang scouts from our damn suits. <laughs> Just one before we head north off of this road, and we run across the first of these bands. I just we wonder what the play's going. Kill them all. I just want to know how. At what point I start rolling up my next character, Copious Volbitters the Fourth. <laughs> <laughs> He's part I, I, Amazonian. I, He's part. We Amazonian. all know that you've already got it rolled up and waiting. <clears throat> I'd start sooner than later. As soon as it's a dragon hunt. <laughs> you know what? We'll we'll decide what we're gonna do with them. We could what probably we could tell one that another one was talking about them behind their back. Like they didn't like the wedding food or something. But so let's, we, let's 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 cross that group when we come to it. You got one group of five that left last night. Yep. You got one group of five uh, that you can kind of see from the road. They're headed out. Uh, they're jovial. Uh, you know, they're, you know, not bad. We're, uh, I think what we need to do with this, this next, this group that just left, did we, we didn't see them leave, did we? As you were walking west, uh, you saw them cutting across the plains. Towards did they the look like they knew what they were doing? They look like they have some experience. Okay. When we, we could, come uh, out, if we run into them, let's tell them that we're after the other group. Because they're hardened criminals and they're laying in wait, and we were sent to bring them to justice. Oh, that's good. That way, if we don't find the other group, and they do, they're going to think they're criminals and act accordingly. And if we do find them, we can go ahead and take them out any damn way. Or it may convince them to go in a different direction. You have a lot of experienced parties already out there. <laughs> yeah. So let's just go. Yeah, let's go. Deal with when we get to it. So you guys are about a quarter of a mile on yep. the angle, yep. and you guys start to head north. Uh, so you guys will be entering in to uh, this region right here. Check mark that. Okay. And then are we going we're gonna head north just for a short while and then angle northwest? Yeah. 
Okay. I assume I assume you're going towards this area. That's kind of the general direction we want to go to that uh, quadrant up there. Okay. Uh, Frank, can you remember how big are the these hexes we're looking at here? Uh, these are about five miles. However, they are mountains. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, you guys lose track of the group of five as you reach the mountain area. Okay. Uh, you know they were to your right somewhere. You aren't sure where they've gone. Uh, it, it's kind of like being at the Grand Canyon, only with mountains in it. Uh, so remember, the ground was sundered, so everything dropped. So the mountains themselves aren't really mountains, but they're more the sides of a depression. Uh, so we're in 1929. Uh, but as you get there, you realize that uh, you've been here before. It's not going to be easy to traverse. There's going to be a lot of uh, shale falling. The good news is you do not have to worry about your mounts. No zonkeys. Uh, or, yeah, the zonkeys and chickens. So as you approach this area, there appear to be three egresses into the region. One, two, three. Uh, your choice on what you want to do. First, let me roll to see which one's the bad one. Okay. I want to, uh, uh, we're seeing the three egresses. If we're close enough to them, I want to look and see if there's any signs that anybody's passed that way. Uh, well, they're spaced out about a football field apart. So do you want to check all three? Yeah. Okay. First one, uh, investigation check. Uh, 17. Uh, there's a lot of stones on the trail leading down. Uh, but you do not see anybody. You do not see any debris, any uh, remains or anything of that nature. But you do see a lot of stones on the path. All right, I'll check the next one. Investigation. 16. Uh, this one seems to be clear. Uh, it winds down at irregular angles, uh, but uh, there's not that many stones on the path. No footprints uh, or anything? No, no footprints, nothing like that. Okay, I'll check the last one then. Uh, 14. Just as you get there, you think you catch a glimpse of somebody moving, but they've rounded an edge. Okay. I see any prints on the, any footprints on the ground. Yeah. Uh, the ground is too uh, rocky to okay. give good things, which is nice because initially, remember, there's not a whole lot of rolls for slippage. Uh, All right. I'll go back and tell the party then what I saw, what I discovered. Now, keep in mind, Leaf has wandered one football field, back one football field, back one football field, and returned to the point where you guys were at. So a little bit of time has elapsed. Uh, he comes back, uh, shares the details of the discovery with you. And look at the head on that. Shouldn't be. Uh, he should be okay if he logs in. So uh, those are your choices. Uh, the middle, middle road is the easiest road. To, the road to the right is very, very rocky. The other one, I saw somebody, it looked like going around the curve down at the bottom of it as I come up and approach one of the other parties, possibly. <coughs> <clears throat> but the center, the middle one is uh, the easiest to traverse. For right now, we're trying to make up ground against these other groups. I say we take the center one then. Yep. Just right. I'll take uh, a point. Okay, that was the next question. Uh, it's, it's, I'll say wide. It's not really wide, uh, but it gives you a wide enough berth uh, that you are not going to have to roll for dexterity or acrobatics. Uh, as you venture down, it is steep initially, uh, but the rocky nature of the path is gonna go ahead and give you enough tread to not cause you any grief. You guys will travel for two hours. Uh, everybody give me perception check. Uh, 25 or 26. 24. 14. 17. Uh, copious, uh, you hear an echo 
uh, it's faint. It sounds like voices, uh, but because of the cavernous area, you cannot tell where it's coming from. Leaf, Felix, and Haggis, as you look over to one side, you notice that the passage all the way on the right, uh, which we thought he saw somebody, uh, is clearly in view. However, there is a wide gap uh, as part of the trail has been knocked asunder from rocks. Uh, you three see at least two people uh, survey, excuse me, surveying the issue, and you realize uh, it ain't no leap. Uh, it is a dead end for all intents and purposes for this group. So they're probably going to head this way. I'll inform the rest of the party that didn't see him what was going on and whispered tones. Okay. It, it, it has been two hours since you descended, so they will have to go two hours back, travel the football field, and two hours down. Okay. So you have essentially a four and a half hour head start on this group, uh, assuming all of them have made it. Uh, as you continue to wind your way down, somebody else give me a D8, please. Ooh. Oh, what, what, uh, okay. What was it? No. Uh, four hours into your journey, you come upon an unusual site. There is an old field stone structure uh, in one of the chasms, uh, much like the citadel that you guys investigated. It must have been on top, and when the depression took it, it fell to the bottom uh, and has remained intact all of these years. You can bypass it if you want. It's not very large. It's about the size of a log cabin. Uh, and you can tell it has been here a long time. There is a large nest on the rooftop, which is made of shale. I want to investigate it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think let's investigate. You get to the stoop, uh, look into the darkness, and you notice that the log cabinish figure uh, it seems to be separated in two. So it has a center wall, uh, load bearing wall, if you will. Uh, inside the first one, there are skeletal remains of at least two people. Uh, there's a lot of debris of general nature, uh, mugs, plates, uh, ramshackle furniture, things of that nature. There is an opening into the back of the area. Hey, Felix, go see what's back there. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, do I see anything of value Any or any arrows? Uh, I would doubt it. No. Not at least on the front part. Mm, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Ooh, make that back part sound enticing now. Mm, mm. Well, I, I, I have night vision. I don't see anything in the back, into the room in the back. Nope. Okay. Uh, you do notice that the floor is not very stable. Uh, the years have not been kind to this structure, and there are holes in it. That's enough. I'm, I've, I've seen all I need to see. I think I Let's see that as well. However, on before we leave, I'm just going to reach down, look for like a, a rock or a pebble or something and kind of toss it in there. Sure. Uh, D12 against me. This is when the giant spider demon comes out. Seven. Reroll. Nine. Eleven. Uh, you hear the stone clunk, clunk, clunk. And then you hear this god-awful rupture of wood uh, splintering. Light from below comes flooding in as you have successfully spotted a weak spot in the floor, and it has fractured and torn asunder. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't you, uh, and that is a beautiful thing. Lee <laughs> and Felix, as you notice this, Copius and Haggis give me perception check. 12. 16. 
Uh, Haggis, there is something approaching that sounds winged. Um, don't freak out, Copious, but there is something approaching that sounds winged. <laughs> Uh, Copius is going to look up if somebody says something's flying this way. Uh, oh yeah, that's a good look up. Can uh, I can I look in the direction I hear the wing from? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, it's flapping. coming. It's coming from straight up. Okay. Uh, and it appears to have a deer head with antlers on it and large wings. Uh, there are a pair of them, and they are both carrying something spherical. Uh, as you look, give me an investigation check at disadvantage. Oh. Spherical. I got 10. I got 15. Uh, no, neither one of you can tell what they are uh, as the reindeer dear bird creatures fly over you. They drop the spherical objects. Uh, one at Haggis, one at Copious. Uh, Haggis, you are the orange one. Copious, you are the root beer one. Probably friendly. Maybe uh, a gift. Good news, Copious. That is a four. It collides with the roof uh, and lands further down the uh, pathway. Uh, 14 plus two is a 16. Haggis, does that hit you? My armor class is 17. It does not hit you. It lands in between you and Copious. The spherical object unwinds itself, is and it, it appears to be a large armadillo, uh, terrified because it was supposed to be a meal. Uh, Robert and Manfang, <laughs> you will also notice this. Uh, you four roll uh, initiative again, please. <laughs> 20, dirty. I got a one. 18, clean and pure. That's a snow white angel. 19. I got an 18 on the roll, plus two, dirty 20. Uh, Copious, uh, you notice, uh, as I am unwinding, I am like a giant armadillo, and it appears as though of the four of you, I'm going after you. It's a, when you say giant armadillo, Copius is three feet tall. Does it stand taller than Copius? Uh, if you stood it on the nostril, its buttocks would be the same height as you. Okay. Uh, Not including the tail. Okay. So we could probably capture it and then put a saddle on it and then put Copius on this oh, ugly yeah. tank. It's my yep. battle dillo. Uh, what are those things from uh, Star Wars? Are they just kind of rolled? They were the they were like drones. BB-8, Tauntaun. Maybe I don't mm. know. There was like a machine that happened. Yeah, you're, well, the first you're, one. You're cross generating. Am I? Yeah, you can't do that. Why? Don't, don't do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to cut this thing open and use it like a Tauntaun. It's going to be a sleeping bag. Ooh, we can. That's maybe good. I can skin it, make a little armor shell out of it. And, and I thought it. they smelled bad on the outside. Mm-hmm. So Copius is going to cast uh, Shadow Armor and summon his back weapon. And if he has any other actions, he'll attack it. Uh, it rolled the same as you, so... We are the same. Uh, it, will, it will go ahead and take a bite out of you. Not with another four. No forehead. So no. Uh, Man Fang, you are quick to arm yourself. You notice that your associate Copius... Is about to get nipped in the ass. Meanwhile, Leaf and Felix are surveying the amount of damage that Felix has done to the structure. You need to turn it. No. Okay, so it's going after Copious. Um, so what's wrong with that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should look around and maybe smell the flora and the fauna. Maybe I should assess the situation and see what's going on. You know, uh, are you going to hold back your attack to assess the situation? To assess the situation, you know. What is it? There's like a there's a there's a class in like martial arts where they say assess your situation first before you act. I, I don't know, but he's waiting on you. Mm, okay. Are you attacking yeah, or I'll assessing attack. the situation? I think I'll attack. Okay. Roll. Well, you know, our only copious has been rolling once, so man fang, we're very glad that you're back. Wow. Uh, you can't go wrong, right? Yeah, I can't go wrong. 
What's your paper? Plus what? Seven? A great X plus eight. So it's 16. He rolled 16 a 16. Hits. Yeah. All right, good. Is. And I roll again for my second attack. Whee! And I hit because I rolled a 16 with the die. All right. Um, I'm hitting two hits. Now yep. you got to roll hit dice. That's a 20 side dice. All right. This is. So is that your 12? That's in my 12. Okay. Roll it. That's a five. That's an eight. Plus. Plus. No. Or the great axe. So that's plus another 16. So would you have five and eight? Five and eight. So what we got? Four, 13. Yeah. Plus eight for 16. Mm hmm. Robert is up when you're up. Me? Mm -hmm. quick math. No. I'm going to. It says what? It's about the size of copious when it's. What's it got? Claws and a bite? Yep. Actually, it has claws or a bite. I want to try to stand behind it and pick it up by the shell. Fireball. Hit it. If you pick it up, it'll just like go upside down and then scratch at your lower half. You use dexterity as your modifier to hit it. I rolled a 17 without the dexterity plus sure. five. So yeah, yeah you pick it. you pick it up. Uh Hagas, your time to shine. <laughs> Remember, I'm holding it in my arms. So With a critical, claws, a critical fail is a one you want, or a two. Do you want me to roll? I, it's your call. I, I don't care okay. what you do. I captured this for Jason. Eight. For copious. No, we need tame it. We need a. We need a. <laughs> I got a nineteen. I got a nineteen. And I rolled an eight. Rub its belly to put it to sleep, like a like an alligator. The sun's going yeah. down. The sun's Are you attacking it. <laughs> um. Well, I'm try dodging it, right? Oh, oh it, it it can't attack. I mean, okay. Um, is, is it in stabbing I'm range? Ro Robert told it like this, so yeah, you can do whatever you want. But is it really threatening? Is it bad? At, at this moment in time, it is helpless, or so it appears. Yeah, I, I'm more scared of those dragons than. Uh... Listen, I'm thinking that's food, Haggis. We're gonna eat that armadillo. We can make a shield out of its skin. Because it has, it's like hard skin, right? What? You it's not a turtle. It's not a turtle. <laughs> it's like thick leather ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've heard of these ninja villas that live in sewers. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. thinking the wrong animal. but Just stab the damn thing. Or, but, yeah, just, just but there's no point in stabbing it. Reserve your attack. Yeah. What if we use it as bait and knock it out? I Can I look for the uh, dragons again? Charm it, uh, Without yeah. disadvantage? Without disadvantage? Well, it can't attack you, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, yeah, you're looking around for the dragons. Uh, Robert, D12 against me. Let's see if this thing pees on you. <laughs> That's a 12. <laughs> Do I get any modifiers? No, nope, straight up D12. Roll the I could have killed it. <laughs> I could have killed it right there. It's I being on me, but it's being out this way. So it's being on. It's being on. Go get it. It is spraying, but you guys are on a narrow ledge, so it's just wafting all <laughs> over you guys. Uh, this thing has now peed on you. <sighs> uh, top of the order, uh, Copious. Uh, you and I are going. I am going to try and struggle to get free. How far uh, it, on this ledge we're standing on, there's a, a fall, right? It's a precipice? Very much so. I'm going to tell uh, <coughs> Robert, chuck that damn thing out over the ledge. I figured I dropped it as soon as it pissed. I thought your idea was food. Ah. You, you, you didn't say, but if that's what you want to do, I'll be on the deck. That's fine. I'm uh, throwing that bitch as far as I uh, can. I'm gonna look at Felix. I'm gonna look at Felix. It's like Felix, are you seeing this shit? Yeah. No. That floor is missing. Ah, uh, Robert D four one. You throw it straight ahead towards Felix and Leaf. Uh, two. Uh, you're gonna head down the pathway where you haven't been. Three. It goes off the precipice. And four. Uh, back where you came. 
One, uh, odd, even, roll again, Leaf will be odd, Felix will be even, that is who I will attack. Leaf. So, Copious, as you see the armadillo fly through the air towards Leaf, <coughs> I will give you first action, noting that I am basically a projectile going for the druid. Jarmness. So uh, I just want to make sure, from in terms of distance, am I? If I were to shoot an eldritch blast, you're under I'd it. Pull. And yes. if I, okay, I want to make sure I'm not aiming at Leaf when I try to shoot this sucker. <laughs> no, all right. even a critical fail will just go high up, knock Shale down on all of you, and kill you. But it should be fine. <laughs> ah, okay. okay, that sounds good. Let's do that because I love Shale. Fail. He just hunches over. I just hunch over and breaks on my back. I think I hit with a 23. You did. All right. I'm 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 hitting this sucker. Two blasts. Eldritch blast. Coming at it. Uh, so I did uh, four, six, uh, 14, 20 points of damage. Oh, yeah. yeah you, you blew that thing out of the air. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> you and I tied. So, uh, Robert, what is your dexterity modifier? Uh, did I not shoot it while it was still in his hand? Uh, it was headed for me, was it not? It is, but I'm going to use his dexterity modifier to see if I can hit you just as I get blown to bits. Good argument. No, I will not, because uh, that is an eight with the plus five already added in. Mm. So Copious phew, uh, just disintegrates it. Felix and Leaf, you are covered with guts. <laughs> now we it's all smell. How do you feel? No. We've been hit with Roma. Now you hey. are I'm looking at Robert yeah. Agus. I'm like, did you see that? That was a hell of a shot. So it, it's still laying up on top up here? Is it? Did it oh, no. It, 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 it turned it, into pink mist. Yeah, it's a it's, mist. It's a John Wick movie. It's like yeah, Quinn it turned into pink blood. mist, Nothing. but it had a shell. Are we making a jump on it? I'm side? just wondering if the shell's still up here or not. 20 points. It had two left. I think it's gone. It's Remember the scene right. in Pulp Fiction when John Travolta turns around and talks to the guy in the back? That's what it looks like now. So this... Uh, and Felix does this. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to elbow this Robert. I, th I think we have our, our chum for the dragon on. <laughs> well, you know me. what? The, the dragon's not going to smell me or Felix. He's going to smell little nomasses. Either that or he's going to smell Robert of Zeppelin, a.k.a. Arnold Are we Phillips ignoring yet? the fact that Manfang is part dragon? It's in his blood. He could. I can, I can communicate with he's him. He's immune to fire. Noises. <laughs> we don't even know if there is another dragon. My friend. So this inside this hut where the floor collapsed, do we see anything new in there? It just fell down into a big chasm. Ah, that was just a big gap in the front room. Okay, that's all I want to know. All right, I'll wipe the goop out of my eyes and let's get moving. Uh, August, up ahead you see the two petrodons or peritons. Uh, Are they circling in a like a vulture esque mode. So can I, can I pinpoint where they're vulturing from, like what they're eyeing, like where they're circling? They are, in? They are protecting the nest on top of the shale roof. Okay, um, I point out to the party that there's. A, are they above us or? They are above you. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I thought you were saying they were like far away <laughs> and they were. So, no, no, they're they're hovering around, probably protecting young or eggs. I would imagine inside the nest. Oh, oh we could find so, an egg. We got yeah, egg. you could have an omelet. What if we yeah. could tame one of the baby dragons? And they could drop another one of them damn armadillos on you. Maybe next time they'll just <laughs> drop a freaking rock on you. Things above us. Uh, Why don't we get moving? What's going on? I know it's okay. It's I don't. I I think let's go now. And I don't like the way that DM is looking at us now that we are covered in 
a fine oh, mist yeah. of chum, and we have two vultures circling around us. Leaf, let's go. I'm ready. I'm heading out. Vultures yep, circling around. And... <laughs> That's right. They're the ones from uh, the old Hanna Barbera cartoons. Yes. Uh, you guys head down, and ahead of you, you can see the giant armadillo that uh, got dropped early, uh, skittering down the trail. That's fine. We'll just follow the damn thing. Skitter, skitter, uh, skitter. Man Fang, D12 against me. Uh, D12, Man Fang, D12. Do you get hit by shale? That's an eight. Yes. Uh, the shale knocks the armadillo off. Yay! Armadillo <laughs> off. But it's uh, 20 yards ahead of you. Oh. So this loose shale coming down the side of the cliff, basically? Pretty much. So I'm going to look up, is there anything the above it that may have knocked that shale loose? Uh, you don't even need a roll? No, there is nothing. Okay. What were you saying, Robert? I'm going to walk with my shield a little bit up like this over my head. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put Can my shield take, up, too. Could, could I be able to take my turtle shell and just, like, bring it up, or would I have to take it off and put it on or over my head? And not You'd have it? to take it off and put it up over your head. How All long right. is that going to take? Uh, you I'll just you do, you do have a helmet on, you know. I do have that helmet on, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just protecting my neck. I'll put my shield up myself. I will right. look up always. I'm going to get tired. So when I, I <laughs> see I? one, I can move out of the way. So you're going to look up always. Well, I'm holding, <laughs> well, I'm like in a light of <laughs> You know what? Why don't you roll a, just a straight up D20? How about you pull the sword above your 17. head? Seventeen. So you chop them. Uh, as you are very studious about looking up, uh, you take a step and you feel your toes kind of hovering in space, and you look down and you have kind of walked towards the edge. But fortunately, you have caught yourself in enough time that you did not. Oh, he just gave you such a warning not to do what you said you were going to do. <laughs> Man, he's a nice I, he can he can continue to do it. I mean, he's one for one. That I, ain't bad odds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but straight. give me an investigation check, Haggis. Um, Eleven. You don't see anything. Okay. Uh, so, so is Leaf still in the lead? I assume. Yeah. You, you've weaseled your way through the urine. <laughs> smelling uh, associates gone down. You've seen the armadillo get knocked off. Uh, yep. You see that you're going to go down another hundred or so feet and it's going to kind of turn around to the left. You guys still remember that at least one party is going to have to turn around. Whether they saw you or not, hard to say. There's at least one other party out here from the previous night. So, you know, you might have company, you might not. Yep. I'm just reserving all my goodies until that happens. As you get to the spot where the armadillo was knocked off, Huggis, mm. uh, give me a straight up D20. Uh, you should have kept looking up. <laughs> <laughs> 14. Uh, 14, you hear the skittering. You look up, you see the shale, you kind of hug the side. The shale goes over the side, narrowly missing. Damned if you do, damned if you don't, man. Shale. Shale. Fine, sharp rocks. Okay. Cut your throat open. Leave all fine. Day. All fine here. Uh, continuing forward, Leaf? Yes. Uh, if you round the corner on the far side of the crevasse that you are currently in, uh, you notice a large number of nests uh, hanging off the sides of the cliff. More of these antlers, whatever the hell they are. Possibly, but you do not see any adults. You see tiny fledglings uh, in there. Ah, God, God. We'll just keep moving. I ain't going to hang around here. You, know uh, you start to move back the other way. It's now mid-afternoon as you are trekking along. Uh, everything seems to be going okay. Five. Robert, 
Uh, give me a straight up D20 roll. Straight up D20. Ten, straight up. Uh, shale cascades down, uh, but the angle is conducive for you to get missed. You continue on. Uh, somebody give me a D4 now, please. Can I get it? Get it, old man. Get it. All right. Two. Uh, two more hours pass. It's starting to become early evening. You can tell because the sun is now encompassing most of your travel in darkness. Uh, and you come upon a wider gap uh, in the path wide enough so that you can probably make camp or uh, you can say screw it and continue forward. You maybe have another hour or two of light left, uh, but uh, you know, camp campsites might be rare down here. So we can stop at this setup yeah. for camping or we can move forward to a non-setup but nowhere to sleep. All right, let's set, let's let's take the setup. I think we better. <laughs> you you guys arrange for a camp. Uh, anybody want to look over the side? I will. Yeah. I'll take investigation checks. Anybody looking over? I wouldn't walk over to the side. I would kind of. That's uh, eighteen and two twenty. Thirteen. Fifteen. Uh, uh, Leaf and Felix uh, look over the side and notice several buildings about. 20 feet down on another small ledge, uh, shale roof, a uh, field stone construction, not exactly a cottage, maybe a little bit longer, possibly, I don't know, an a, a old tavern or an old smithy or an old lumber thing. Uh, but the trail, there's no trail leading to these, right? Correct. You will have to uh, jerry-rig the ropes in order to get down there. It looked pretty dark down there. Oh, yeah. The, the I know I don't see anything, but... Yeah, the sun has passed over, so it's uh, very uh, dark shadows. I, I'll point out to the group what we're seeing down below. They just look like common buildings. There's no easy way to get there. We would have to rappel down and climb back up the rope. I'm going <laughs> to cast light on them piece of shale and throw it down there to light up the area are you mm. going to try and hit one of the buildings i'm just trying to throw it in the general area if i hit a building i hit a building d12 against me i roll four uh you hit the <laughs> roof of one of the structures and it ricochets off and continues to go down uh, to the point you cannot see the light. The light just disappears. It's deep chasm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it I is. kind of lit up that building a little bit that I can now go, oh, hey, there's a building down there. Okay. Uh, the rest of you set up camp. I assume you're going to hug the uh, walls so that the shale doesn't get you. Yes. And, okay. Uh, three watches. Who wants them? I'll take first. I can set a bonfire if we want at the edge. I'll watch. Leave Hoggins. No, no bonfires. You're announcing our presence. Any of those other groups are in here. Or those birds not, see us. Just do not let them know we're here. Really? Cold night. It's going to be cold down there because uh, the deeper you go, the, the windier it gets. Uh, who's uh, doing third watch? Copius is doing third watch. Cop Copious can see in the dark, so I can also see in the dark. Me too. Yeah, you guys have the uh, scarabs. Uh, Leaf D twelve against me. Eleven. Argus D twelve against me. One. It begins to rain. <laughs> Copious D12 against me. Cold, wet. Five. Nine. It continues to rain. Uh, everybody wakes up the next morning 
Uh, the water is just drizzling down the sides of the chasm. Uh, the, the trail is damp. It's going to be a little bit precarious uh, going in here. Uh, but, I mean, you haven't found any dead ends. So yep. that's the good news. Oh. <laughs> Eat some trail mix and hit the road. Cool. Uh, you head down the road. Go ahead and uh, D4 for me, Felix. Four. Uh, by the time you get to the noon hour, you notice that the trail has been bottomed out for quite mm -hmm. some time. Uh, there's still the gorge on the right side, uh, but you are not in descent mode and haven't been for about a good hour. Uh, you just seem to be leveling out. As you round the next bend, uh, let's see who gets to make the trail save. Four, Haggis, again, uh, give me a straight of D20. 16. Uh, that's going to hit you. You get hit with loose shale for one hit point uh, because you were keeping an eye out. Uh, however, you notice that the trail is now rising and there is a honeycombed group of caves, uh, maybe eight feet tall, uh, embedded into this area. Or you may continue forward going up at a slight rise. I hope Peace wants to ask Leaf, uh, being a druid, if he has yep. any insight into whether or not these caves would be habitation for dragons or assorted creatures. <laughs> Definitely too small to be dragons. Yeah. Go Peace is good. That. Be a good place for a, a spider to hang out, though. Or giant bees. Or a big bear. Or a paradactroid. Whatever Flying the hell that whales. thing was. Flying whales. Wyvern would fit in there just fine. Weaver? He hadn't smiled yet, so I haven't hit on anything he's got hidden in there. So. Or we've just given him a list of monsters that we're going to He could add. <laughs> All right, there you go. Yeah, he's got the damn book. He don't need a list. I just can't pull out the page numbers to make it faster for <laughs> yeah. him. Hey, I, I've got it here, and I've got the search. Now, I, I'll tell Copius, they're too small for a dragon, but there's a lot of other things that could be in them. I don't think we need to be wasting time fooling with them. Let's keep moving. Everybody perception. That's a 25? 20. If something comes out of these caves to attack us, I'm going to look at Leaf and go, Leaf, you ignorant slut. Okay. Told you anything could be in them, but not a dragon. 18. I got an 18. Good job. I need to... Uh... I guess Felix and Robert. 23. 16. Wow. Everybody but Robert oh, will any die odd or even is what I'm looking for. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Six. Who got the odds? There is scratching coming from the caves. Probably uh... Maybe four creatures, possibly. Who got the even? Somebody is whistling around the bend coming down the trail. What you mean like like a wind whistle? Uh, or does someone is uh, oh, at least it's not that damn copious old bitter brewery tune. And yeah. where is this it's coming from? It's been a while where since that was brought up. Well, it, don't worry, Felix. It ain't going to be a while before it reappears. <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh, so uh, you got a, a two uh, front situation here. And tick tock, I will uh, say. I think I'm going to whisper to the people that are near me that. Hey, somebody's coming around the bed. I hear them whistling. And I'm going to whisper to the ones that don't appear to notice there's something in the cave scratching. So we're right. stuck right here. Everybody roll initiative. And I'm going to whisper to everybody. I think those are uh, uh, storm clouds. Mm -hmm. 14. 17. I'll 19. My luck right now. I got a four. 
I got a seven. I'm going before uh, dumbass. I got a seven too. <laughs> you know, down in this shale covered chasm is probably a good place for a thunderclap. I got oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's an excellent idea. I also got a 19. Uh, who got the other 19? Felix, you were looking ahead at the trail. That's where you heard your stuff, right? Yep. Uh, individuals wearing red surcoats are rounding the corner. Uh, there's at least three, and they seem to be engaged in some kind of discussion. Uh, you have been told that there's something wrong to your left. You also see something possibly wrong in front of you. Do the red coats, do they look anything like the red vest boys from? They certainly do. Mm. Remarkably so. Uh, it's gonna, I. And they are them. halflings. Kill them. Like the red I vest gang from, I think the, let's... from that one town? Those I, now, just for the the shale that's around us, how close are we to the wall? Uh, this area in front of the caves has a bit of a gap, so you've got about ten feet of movement uh, either way. You guys are in single file mode, so you have a good uh, you know maybe four feet left or right either way. So you've got a lot of play. You aren't gingerly walking along the edge or anything. Uh, you're in good shape, not a good spot to fumble things, uh, not a good spot for a thunderclap, but, you know, you got some room here. Probably not a good spot for an earth tremor either, I'm guessing. Yeah, I, I'd say earthquake or similar. Uh, Lightning earth. storm, any of that okay. good stuff. Okay, yeah, It's a good place for a fire. I think I'm going to fire an arrow uh, at the first red vest boy that I can see. Sure. Hi, Funk. <laughs> yep. Chili time. Well, they shouldn't have been standing there. So, uh. <laughs> hey, hey, look at me. It's <laughs> not called friendly hoboing. It's hey, called yeah, murder. Yeah. That's right. Uh, 18 to hit. Oh, yeah, easily. He, he screams I, out, message for you, sir. <laughs> the message is not good. And I assume that I can get a sneak attack bonus on this. I guess there'll oh, yeah. be no cabler cookies in your stocking tonight. <clears throat> there are definitely not going to be. How many? How many do I get for a sneak attack now? You know what? Actually, no, because you and I tied, so there is no sneak attack bonus. Okay. Bonus. Okay. Then it's going to be uh, five damage. Uh, as you let fly your arrow, you see the red vest go, hi! <laughs> and you shoot him in the shoulder. Uh, he yells, message for you, sir, and drops. Uh, you see an arm start to drag him around the corner. Uh, meanwhile, everybody else look into the left. Uh, there are uh, like sick chickens. Uh, coming out, elongated neck, uh, very crimson esque beak. Uh, they're like a hybrid between a turkey and a chicken. Uh, but How big? It's, it's got like a vulture turkey. beak, about three feet. Do they look ho hostile. Uh, they're coming out, they're mad. Okay, hmm. okay, crazy idea. We run and let them kill whoa, whoa. the best guys. Hey, didn't you roll a four or no? Yeah. You rolled a 14. Uh, 12. 12. 12. He was four. I was seven. Yeah. Gotcha. And Jason uh, was four. So what's, was your, what's your crazy idea, Hoggis? If we kill the red vest guys, or at least down them enough like they are right now, we could run up where they came from and let the big birds go after them. Because there's probably nothing in those honeycomb hives except just them and more babies or whatever. I can hatch those and form my army. They don't uh, look like submissive chickens. Yeah, the creatures are, are a submissive chicken. You know, they're headed towards you, flapping their wings, uh, hell bent for destruction. They will use all of their movement to get to you. Uh, Seventeen. Me. Going to use all their movement to get to me. Well, to approach you guys. <laughs> Because only okay. Felix and 
Pagas was looking at the red vest guys, I think. Oh, and there's only like 10 feet between us and them. There's not even that much because they're in the caves. We're walking next to the wall, right? Well, they're coming out of the caves. And the caves are in the wall that we're walking next to, correct? Correct. Okay. Well, I've got my shield already. I'm going to get my battle axe ready to smack something. If there's anything close to me, I'll do it now. Uh, yeah, you can. They, they have all closed within melee range. There are six of them. That's a, a 15 and 419 to hit. Easily. You need an 11 to hit these things. Okay. Let me find my die eight. That's uh, five on six points. That might be in a bit of trouble if you're rolling that low. Uh, fair enough. Uh, next up are the sevens. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the twelve. Pagas. Um, I guess um, I'll peer. I'll get out my my bow, my um, big one, and try and get to a way where I can shoot one of the red vest guys. They are currently around the corner. So you can hold your action in case they peek out or deal with the birds. Um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll hold. Fair enough. Now the sevens, Copius and uh, Robert. Hmm. Thunderclap or Thunderwave? Thunderwave. Or Shatter. With the wall full of shale, I can't imagine going wrong. <laughs> yeah. How about you just shoot How far away is Copius from the caves? Frankie, your DM's ten, got the paper up in front of his face. Ten feet. So if I f- do a full out run, dive, acrobatics check, I might get in there for a half damage save when he brings the entire wall of shale down. Maybe. Possibly. Okay. Are you running into the honeycomb? Well, I'm, I haven't done anything yet, but. Well, you're, you're going to do it at the same time he does I, it. I'm assuming I'm attacking whatever the nearest bird is. So you said they ran up to us all on their turn, right? So mm-hmm. we've, we have like six of these creatures around the party. Yeah, ready to peck you. The one nearest me, I'm going to try to take its head off. Sure. Uh, but I didn't. So I have two attacks, dagger attack and short sword attack. Uh, how how didn't you? <laughs> well, the dagger attack I did I did hit uh, with my bonus, so because that was like uh, fourteen. But do you want me to deal with that or deal with the fumble first? Uh, let's go ahead and deal with the damage first. Okay, so the damage from the dagger was uh, three points. Okay. Here's how we'll do this. Roll the D4. If it's a one, you've thrown your weapon into the honeycomb. If it's a three, you pitched it over the side. If it's a two, you sent it over to your right. Okay. So it is available to pick up next time. Uh, Robert, you're up. Are you uh, going to call down the arcane ass whooping? Yeah, of a firebolt. I rolled a seven to hit. Ooh, you guys are screwed. Uh, four, man fang. Your associates have thrown their weapon and missed these dire turkey things. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. I'll, I, I, how far away are they? They're on top of you. All right. I'll hit it with my axe. Twice. Uh, the first time didn't hit. Didn't yeah, fumble though, right? And the second time didn't hit. All right. What'd you roll? You were four and three. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, you didn't hit. No. He rolled a 12 and 11. I had my uh, good one at the beginning that I just ran out. What's that? 11, 11 yeah, hit. hit. 11 both hit. Hits. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's why you got to tell them what you rolled. Oh, okay. Right. Easy cool. to hit. Yeah. yeah, these things are easy to hit. What's the first one? 11. You rolled 11 plus five. a five. So five, five, fifteen, and eleven is twenty-six points. Twenty-six. Um, Man, thank kills one. Yay! Cooking that bad boy. Top of the order. Uh, again, Felix, you and I tied. Why don't you d twelve against me? 
10. One. Uh, you hear uh, sounds of, I don't know what it is, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to blast them. Blast them. Uh, I'm going to say back to them. Who goes there? Or something along those lines. Uh, or I think you should have said, oops, sorry. That, would have been that probably would have been better had I said that. Uh, give me a D20 and add your charisma roll. An even better one. <laughs> An even better one would have been. It was just a joke. You want to uh, well, do that role for you? <laughs> you don't hear anything. <laughs> and then you see somebody. <laughs> uh, they are going to roll a disadvantage. A 12 and an 18, so 12 plus 4, 16. Yep. 6 plus 1, uh, right in the shin. I think I got him, is what you hear. Uh, the bird creatures are now highly pissed. Uh, on leaf, no. No, double eights. Uh, on Felix, because he has a bird creature. Nat 20, uh, not your day. <laughs> Haggis, uh, 16 plus 3, 19. Robert, 16 plus 3, 19. Manfang, three, 9 plus 3 is 12. So everybody that took a hit suffers two hit points of damage but needs to make a con save. What man thing get? Ah, uh, twelve to hit him. No, nah, you missed. You missed both of us. Okay. So if I hit you, two hit points and a con save. Ten on the con save. You are petrified. Nineteen. <laughs> it would have been better if you had rabies. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like there's something. That I had that would protect me against that, but that may have been that other character. I mean, against like. wild turkey? Yeah, it's called sobriety. <laughs> yeah, I'm petrified. Okay, uh, everybody sees Felix uh, the Great sees up. Uh, <laughs> let's go with the 17 leaf. I'm going to switch my flame blade okay. and attack. That's a 17. And that hits. Felix, the good news is, now that you're petrified, it's real easy to hit you with the arrows. <laughs> Lovely. And that Felix is... The great is now Felix Nine and six, 15 points. Uh, flame, flame damage. I, I, they're hurting pretty bad, but not dead. Uh, next up, 12, Huggis. 18. Easily. Um, I'm going to go for the chickens. Okay. Because you do have the human shield that is Felix the Unmoving. Just stab around Felix. Um, oh, I thought I was, I was shooting. You what? I had my bow ready. Remember? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's... What's the plus on it? Uh, plus two, Bo. Nine. So 11. Damage? I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Uh, the sevens. Copious and Robert. Summoning my pack weapon back. Firebolt! If your pack weapon had a voice, it'd be like, make up your mind. <laughs> I missed. With an 11 to hit him. Yeah, I rolled a five. <laughs> oh, you guys are screwed. Ah, uh, the four. I do. Uh, Man Fang, uh, you have a plethora of targets. I'll hit any of them. The closest one to me. Do your first attack. See if it drops it, and then do your second attack. First attack hits. Do damage. You are going after Huggis's. Okay. 
What'd you roll? I rolled a one for damage, which plus five. Nine. Oh, Nine. plus five. So that's you rolled a one. Six. one. Six points of damage. Six points. Roll your second hit. Still up. Hits. All right. With a four, plus five is nine. So nine points on the with the second that, shot. That takes out Hoggis's. Wow, you top, top of the order, Felix. Give me that con save. Oh, 19 plus something, plus two. Felix, la, 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 la. holy crap. <laughs> and, and you got the bird creature too. So the arrow whew, misses. Uh, the bird creature, uh, 15 plus three, 18. Yep. Give me another con save. <laughs> and take three hit points this time. 18. Uh, yeah, you were unaffected this time. Uh, the other bird creatures on leaf. Nope, that's a five. Copious, not 20 on Copious. Uh, three, Felix, I already went for you. And five, Robert. Uh, 13 plus 316, Robert. Uh, so only Copious takes it. So give me that con save and take three hit points. Somebody upstairs calling. Ooh, and that one on a con save is not good. You are petrified and fall to the deck. <laughs> uh, and you are going to be, I'm not even going to give you a save when it comes to your turn uh, with a one. Leaf, you're up. Yeah, I'm on tech. Wow. <laughs> you are Man Fang's uncle, I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> I hit. <clears throat> That's six and three, nine, and two is 11. Dead. Uh, next up is the 12. Uh, Hagas, you see Copius go stiff and fall over. Don't trip over him. <laughs> Use um, him as cover. <laughs> um, I have. Do I have to um, roll something to heal him, or can I just throw a healing potion at him? Um, uh, you'll that's have like to, a restoration spell, doesn't it? You'll have to hold his mouth open and uh, make sure he doesn't choke to death. Oh. Uh, Robert can do that. He's a healer or whatever. Um, where's the... <laughs> or whatever. Any, nice any more chickens? Um <laughs> Any more chickens? There are three okay, I, creatures left. These are cock, chickens, dude. I cock and some the son of a bitch keeps shooting at Felix. <laughs> is he? Is the guy fighting Felix? Is he out of cover now? He, he is down. Because uh, I feel like he's doing. He, the, does, he does the shooting and then he pops back up and he drops and does the shooting. That's at, why he's at shooting this, at disadvantage. At, at this moment, can I see him? Uh, Any D12, part of D twelve against me. Um, Ten. Eight. Nope, you can't see him. Okay, then I'm going hold, straight for the chicken. Turn, no, sir. Can you do I'm that? Sorry. Hold your turn until they pop out, and then have a chance to shoot if you're shooting ahead of. He could. So keep that but, in mind. If you want to do that? You. Well, they're using a the bow. Turn. I could run right at him right now. And you could. I yeah. sneak attack him right now. Uh, yes. It's going to take you your entire movement to get to where he's at. Okay. And I, cannot instead? and I cannot attack him when I get to him, or can I? Correct, you cannot to, attack him. But make sure you don't have to run by any of these chickens to get there. Because um, yours is dead, Felix is not, so that would be the uh, opportunity attack. Okay, then I'm going to shoot a chicken. Okay. Um, 11. 11 hits. You're going after Robert. Four, five, six damage. I can't hear anything. Uh, Copious is going through the shakes. <laughs> the hippie, hippie <laughs> shakes. Uh, Robert, you're up. Six saves, save 11. And a magic casting. Magic's a two. Uh, the save is a 12 plus something. Here we Come go. Boys. 
Here we go, boys and girls. Oh, this is where the shit. TPK happens. Create explosion. Twenty-seven, you say? Forty-seven. Four seven. Oh, you regained one sorcery point. Oh, sweet. I'll just won't mark that then. And then uh, burning hands, fifteen foot cone. Uh, I'll give you two. I'll give you yours and Felix's. <coughs> eh, Eleven points of damage to each. Uh, not enough to kill yours. Not enough to kill his. Uh, Man Fang. Next time, one at a time, but number uno hits because that's three plus eight. Yep. Uh, damage. damage. Nine plus eight. Not nine plus eight, nine plus five. Nine, nine plus five. Fourteen, 14 points to the first one. Got it. That's six. Did that drop hits. it? Nope. I'll right. hit it again with a 15. That should kill it. 15 damage? Yep. Oh, yeah. Easily kills it. <coughs> you uh, ended up retargeting a different one, is why it didn't kill it. Uh, top of the order. Felix, you are not paralyzed. You do have that little bastardo shooting at you. Mm -hmm. So I am going to cast Ice Knife at him, which flings a shard of ice at one creature within range, and then hit or miss, the ice shard explodes, and uh, within everybody within five feet of that explosion must make a dex saving throw or take 2d6 of cold damage. Even if nice. they're laying on the ground frozen? Yeah. I assume everybody... I What I'm assuming is going to happen with this is that when he pops out, I'm going to ca- throw the ice knife, cast the ice knife, and then him and his buddies are going to have to make the dex saving throws. That's what I'm hoping for. That, that's fair enough. And you and I did uh, go evens on uh, initiative. So let me go ahead and see if I can shoot you real quick. <laughs> 19 on the die roll. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh. Um, the max knife. damage again, seven. He gets you in the other as you cast the okay. ice knife. So hit him. Uh, You're going to shit when you find out what level these guys are. Oh, jeez. 21 to hit. Yep, hits. Uh, eight damage. Kills him. Okay. And then one, uh, one or two <laughs> explosion is two d six for a whopping three points of damage there. Wow, what a waste! I two know. dice six and you did three. I know. <laughs> I, I, I did four d eight and rolled four twos the other day. And I assume <laughs> that since I was casting that at the same time that you were attacking me, I can't uncanny dodge the arrow that came in. Correct. But boy, that first level rogue really taught you a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make a name for himself. Uh, that is me. I have two bird creatures left, three and five uh, on Felix. Insult to injury does not happen because I missed you that time. Robert, uh, that's an 18 on the die roll for 21. Nope. Uh, so give me your con save. Ooh. Oh, but wait you a minute. Missed. 21 misses you? I don't yeah, think I'm so. Yeah, I'm 24. Are you 24? I am 24. Okay, I missed you then. Uh, I that had is- that shield. I also had that fleet feet uh, as a school, and I had that armor on. Oh, okay, so you're safe. Uh, that takes us to Leaf. Leaf, there are two bird creatures left, and uh, you hear the blood curdling scream, and it gets softer as it goes, like it's been knocked off the edge. I rolled a natural 20. Yep. Damage, damage modifier. Copious, you're on deck with your uh, con That's save. 12. 12, 12 another 10. Than yeah. yeah. That one's dead. Uh, sevens, or I'm sorry, Haggis, 12. You're up. 
not copious. One bird left? One bird left. God only knows how many uh, adventurers. Fifteen. Fifteen hits the bird. Um, seven damage it's to the bird. To kill it. Uh, copious. Let's see if you're uh, playing tonight. <laughs> 17. Uh, I hate these damn birds. <laughs> As you look around, all those damn birds are dead. <laughs> Smells like chicken. Does smell like bird and chicken. Uh, Robert, you're up. Everything's dead? Well, the birds are dead. <laughs> There's some little people around the corner. But do I know that there's little people around the corner? They've been picking at them, and I've been focusing over here, so I don't know if my as, character would know. As you look over to Felix, he has an arrow here, and an arrow here, and an arrow in his shin. <laughs> so clearly, fucking Robin of Loxley is around <laughs> the corner. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to... But you do not see anything. I'm going to prepare a spell and move up to that corner. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Man Fang, what do you want to do? Uh, the chickens are all dead, right? Correct. Chicken esque. Mm, okay. The chicken things are all dead. If you so. start cooking the chickens, your new nickname is Colonel Sander. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna make you slop if I cook. I'm gonna make you slop. That'll make you barf until you're dead. Um, no, I'll. I guess I'll just follow behind Robert like this with both hands on my shoulders, going, "You got this. You're the man. You're the best. Whoa. You got this." Whoa. Fair enough. Top of the order, Felix. <laughs> you're a porcupine. Oh, what do you want to no. do? I'm going to draw back my bow and holler around the corner again to say, come out with your hands up or something like that. I don't know. Something more creative. The, the good news <laughs> is Robert and Nanfang are ahead of you. So anybody who pops out is going to shoot them for sure. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Even better. Uh, give me a persuasion check. Or don't bother. Felix? Oh. Okay. Because uh, that's a nat 20. <laughs> uh, no answer for your shout. Uh, Leaf, it's your turn. Uh, Felix call for surrender has gone unanswered. He still looks like a porcupine. Uh, Robert and Manfang are creeping ahead, getting ready to do some damage. Isn't Copious laying on the ground? Yeah, I'm pretty, he's fine. Nah, he, he woke up he's last fine. time. I'm going to I'm going to ask Felix if he's all right, and then I'm going to head to the corner. Are I'm you okay. all right? All right. Yeah, now, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to head up around toward the curve, too, where the shots came from. Copious okay. Up. Um, so uh, Copious can take oh, normal actions this turn? I, I'm sorry. Hang on. I, I keep screwing this up. Hoggis, you're up. Um, hmm. I don't know why I keep putting him below you. I could be a small, but um, I'm gonna charge the uh, halflings. <clears throat> no, in between you and the halflings, uh, are four members of your party. Uh, Leaf is creeping up around the corner, Felix, Robert, and Manfang are ahead of you. You may charge at risk of knocking them to one side, which may be a precarious problem. Okay, I'll walk to where the halflings are. Copious, you're up. Uh, it, are All the creatures are dead. Are any of them actually flaming, or is there any burning ember or any waste anywhere on the ground around Copious? Uh, a couple of them are still charred to crisp. But yeah, the fire, I, I, fire is extinguished. I have a flaming sword in my hand if you're needing a light for something. I was just going to start chucking burning embers down these tunnels that these chickens came out of in case there's any still in there. But if there's nothing burning actively um, and I see all this, you know, this train walking up around the bend, 
I'm just going to hold my action. If something sticks its head out, I'm going to shoot it with an with an Eldritch Blast. Sure. Uh, Robert and Man Thing. Yes. Investigation checks. I didn't see anything. Nat twenty. Uh, Man Thing, you have your hands on Robert uh, coming behind him as the cold tender. Uh, Robert, I'm assuming, suddenly stops as he notices a black, viscous fluid trailing around the corner. Yeah, I'm going to step back and kind of out of the way if I can. I don't want any of it touching me. Sure. Uh, just it, watch it roll. It slides right off the precipice. Uh, give me a survival check. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're as dumb as me. Yeah, that one didn't work. Three? You can't tell what it is, but you see an arrow. Flaming arrow. Uh, ricochet off the edge of the uh, turn and go into the depths. So it's like it hit it and just shanked down in? It's just like oh. uh, Man Fang rolled to attack. <laughs> uh, I'm going to slowly try to peek around the corner or is that going to put me into the goo? D12 against me. Two. Come on, not a one. Nine. If you are careful because of your height, you should be able to peek around. I'm going to slowly peek around. The trail itself kind of curves back in and then continues up uh, about 50 feet away are, are a group of short individuals, your favorites, uh, similar to Haggis' size, and they are all lighting arrows and they are going to shoot in your general direction. Little bastards. I know what they're doing. They're trying to tar light that shit on fire. Oh. Uh, Okay. Can I cast a spell or is it too late for anything? You can cast a spell. They are 50 feet away if that matters. All right. Let me look. Oh, I got to click on spells. That might be a good thing to do. Let's see what my spell says. I'll get I got the wild magic it, back up. <laughs> yep. Bring it up. 60 foot is what my shot is. Sure. And let's see. It, I don't know what S means. Samonic. That's so all you need to do is use your hands. I rolled a three. Uh oh, Django. <laughs> you would teleport exactly. You'll teleport right into the fire. Twenty six is my roll. No shit. Uh, for the next minute, the range of all of your spells are doubled. <laughs> One hundred twenty foot shot. <laughs> all right. Well, I just. I figured I catapult shale over there. Sure. So that's four die eight. About tar covered shale. Yeah. So that's 18. You get three of them with that. <clears throat> and they, ah, old Western, fall off the edge and go <laughs> plunging in uh, with. Four down, there are three left. Uh, and they're all going to fire their flaming arrows. With all that tar spilled all around them. Well, it's not really tar, it's more oil. <laughs> oil. Six, 18, and two. You see one of the arrows hit the side that you're looking around, drop down, and woof. Everybody behind Robert sees this rolling black smoke, and here's the woof. Uh, an acrid smoke goes into the chasm and is distributed among the vast depths. Uh, Robert, give me an investigation check as you tuck your head back in. Please be better than the last one. I'm gonna Nat 20. I'm gonna hold his shoulders to keep him out there so he gets 
Uh, they had enough oil to cover about 14 feet. So, so some water okay. on. Put it out. So in order for you to shoot, you're going to have to shoot at disadvantage because of the black smoke and the flames. But I'll give you another shot. Are these barrels the ones with like the metal rings around them? You don't know what they have. It, if I'm up behind them, I'm going to tell Robert, let, let me cast water spell on this stuff, see if it'll put it out. You are number three, and there is a significant lack of room. All right. I don't, I don't have to, I don't have to see it. I could, I don't have to touch to cast this well, spell. Let me, let me, let me shoot a firebolt at him. Or is that where we're at still? That's where we're at. Whew, good. 18, I hit. I, I, the firebolt, I'm trying to shoot at the barrel. And if or, you blow that barrel and it's full of oil, what's going to happen? It explodes everywhere. One on wild magic. Oh, yeah, I forgot wild magic. I didn't. <laughs> of I course rolled a one you on wild didn't. magic. Your damage has increased by... Your damage has tripled. Woohoo! That or you, or are you like fireball. Oh, that's right. I got to roll the next set. Damn it! I'm just off. There you are. You're off. Uh, ninety-two. You are gained five hit points. <laughs> Sweet. And I hit a fire bar. I, I already said I was going to hit the fire barrel oil. So six points of damage. I don't need. Oh. Any. It explodes. Now, D12 against me to see how much shale path damage it does. Uh, if I win, you ain't going any further. Six. What am I rolling? My D12. normal damage? No, what? D12. 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 No, you, you blew that thing up. Four. Yeah, you also blew the path away. So as you hit their oil barrel... Uh, they just explode, sending body parts everywhere. Shale cascades down and wipes out uh, 30 feet of uh, path. Let, let me mute before I say this. <laughs> it was just... Quick gun draw reaction. I didn't think about the shale part. I just thought about somebody shooting oil at me. The fire has burned out, which is nice because with the oil gone, you can at least round the corner and survey the damage that you have done. Is there anything down below us? A gap. A big gap. How, how far? How far did you say the path is damaged? Thirty foot. Thirty, 30 feet. Is there, on the other side of the path, is there anything to attach a rope, to, to climb on, uh, anything at all that we can see? Or is it all pretty bare and just... It's, it's shale covered, so if anybody has the guts, they can try and climb across. Drop I can climb pit. across, but if there's nothing to hook to, there's no sense in going. If, if you have pittons, you can always uh, fasten it that way. You I need someone look. with high dexterity, right? Mm -hmm. No. Now, uh, Focus has misty step. That's true. I could yeah. go up, but I can't do anything if I can't tie it to a rope. And Leaf has cast spider climb on me in the past. Yeah. Which mm -hmm. would also get us over the... Well, we got to have something yeah. attached to. That's why I'm asking if there's anything. And yeah. Leaf, you're probably the best one to make that roll. Um you would have to do a nature check uh, yeah. once you get closer. Now, okay. as Robert rounds the corner, Robert, roll the investigation. Natural, or 19, plus one, 20. Uh, mm -hmm. From this point on, it goes up. The trail is, is escalating, uh, almost like you're leaving. However, uh, the 30-foot gap in the path is noticeable. The bodies, maybe one of them got caught on the jagged ridge below. But to the right, off in the distance, you see a split. And that split goes up and down. Uh, okay, another path. 
So there was a Y. They chose the right one. No, they chose the wrong one. Yes. You feel good about killing first level characters? Hell yeah, yeah I do. You feel you feel like a big yeah. shot? <laughs> I feel good yes. about shot. killing anything in a red vest. That's a happening. <laughs> big big shot. Uh, okay, so uh, the scary. trail is not overly narrow. So you guys will not have to roll checks. The area is going to be unstable, courtesy of Captain Earthquake there. Uh, but if you guys want to go up there to where the path has been decimated, uh, I will take a nature check from anyone leading. I will do it. Out of the way, pet. <laughs> um, I can spider climb, so I'll go ahead and climb over. Uh, roll a straight up D20. Let's not hit any loose shale. Um, straight straight up 15. Okay, you're fine. What, Robert? So, does the, in the adventures pack, does it have pit the pinions? Pit, the, it should have them. Does anybody, did anybody select the adventures pack? I did. Did you want to check your inventory? You might have what we need. If you have the adventures pack, I, I for, so for some reason, it, I remember seeing it somewhere, one of those. Yeah, small iron hammer, pittons, and rope, I believe, are the same. Yeah. That. I'm a city gnome. This whole mountain climbing crap. You, you are the female in every Stallone movie it, that involves uh, <laughs> oh, mountain wait. climbing. I've got You're two hunting. pittons. Oh, there, there you go. go. You want to throw them at Leaf? <laughs> no, hey, girl, I don't. You fumble. You impale them. set you up every time. <laughs> Either fumble or critical hit. <laughs> uh, and on my nature check, I've got a 21, 19 and 2. 21? Yes. Uh, the rock formation at the base of the path appears to be quite solid. Uh, you could probably notch it into the wall. And then tightrope it. Okay. It's kind of... Coochie coochie mama. Until the giant spiders show up again. Uh -huh. Well, since we're all wearing those brooches, I think we get advantage on persuasion for giant spider speech. You think? <laughs> you, you go up and try that. Hey there, hi there, oh there, neighbor. Good news is he's not going to eat you for dinner. He's going to eat you for dessert. <laughs> and a pair of teeth? Is it a gnome? I can't get into that anymore, so I, I can't tell you. I, I will assume that you have pins if you took the adventure back. Well, I had that in a Dungeons Master's vault, and I can't get into it for some reason. I don't know what the hell's going on. All the porn sites have blocked you out. That's probably what it is. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, then, that being the case, then I will drive a piton. Give me a survival check. 20. Dirty. You're pretty sure it's in there solid. You uh, can attach a rope to it. I'm already over here, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> okay, I'll attach a rope to it. You're and... fine. Good luck, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, boys. Um, yeah, something to consider, guys. Just the thought, you know, we got to have a way to get back, too. I'll go ahead and toss the rope over. Uh, since you are high ground, I will assume that that goes without issue. Uh, who's driving the baton into the side? Someone with a lot of strength, right? Not so track is what it's going to be. You need Man somebody Fang? with some brains. That's all. Manfang. Yeah, Manfang is the most intelligent. Yep. <laughs> Felix, you give it a shot. <laughs> give me your survival check. Wisdom bonus. You got to roll. Oh, I do have to roll. Yay. Survival oh, check, okay. is that what you said? Yeah. It's wisdom, not intelligence. 19, woo! Hey, hey, hey. hey. Man Fang came through for you. Yep, so I did. You can uh, make the rope taunt, and who wants to be the first one across? I assume you I'm, will tightrope sideways while using the hand. I'll try it. 
Okay. I was going to say, copious, if the, if the pittance give out, copious has an escape mechanism he can try as a secondary save. So if you want him to try... What am I doing? Say, uh, dexterity? Straight up d20. Straight up d20 is the roll. I can't wait to see you roll one. Thanks, jackass. Six. Uh, <laughs> you're going to take some shale damage. Right. Son of a... Two hit points of shale damage as you cut your hand as you move across. Uh, you get across to the other side. Who wants to be number two? Copious will do it. Straight up D20. Straight up D20. I Go hope on. you slide down to your death, man. What thing. was it? 11. Uh, who's yeah. next? I'll do it. Go ahead. 17. Easy peasy. Felix or Man Fang? I'll go. Let him go. Go, Man Fang. Go, go, Man Fang. Ooh, four. Do a flip. I will. Mm -hmm. Uh, You slip. uh, The rope hits you uh, right in the family nuggets, and you take five hit points of damage. And Kind of scoot yourself across. <laughs> How much damage did it take? Five. Five. <laughs> All to the left testicle. <laughs> so that one popped. Uh, <laughs> no, it shaved off. Jesus Christ. There's no love for you. Hey, you do. You, you, yeah. you, you knew the, you guys were on a rope. You knew I was going to have to adopt after this. Oh, uh, and as Felix grimaces at how painful <laughs> that looked, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, Nat 20. All uh, right. With, 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 with one hand on the trail <laughs> and one hand protected, you hobble across. Uh, Man Fang, we'll be talking to I bitch for a while. Uh, but you guys have all successfully gotten across the gap created by yourselves, i.e. Robert. Uh, and a short distance away is the Y. And it is, again, open, uh, a la kind of a, a campsite safe area. It is afternoon of day two. Do you want to go up the trail, down the other trail, or make camp? Oh, up that way. You said you guys afternoon, but it's just afternoon right now, right? Yeah. Late afternoon, about late afternoon. afternoon. You got time. Where do you want to go? Down. Uh, down. You know, I, I love having shale rain as a constant reminder of just how dangerous this job is. Um, do we think that this lower level is more likely to have a cave for a dragon or upper i don't know jack about dragons there druid well let me let me uh check out my what the hell would that be i'll, uh, I'll take nature check. Yeah, that would be a 21 uh you're under the impression that if you go up that will take you out of the cavern uh you remember these guys that uh robert or I'm sorry, Robert and Felix murdered. Uh, they were part of the 71. They were not part of the early go-getters. So uh, you can successfully surmise that they left after you did. Yep. So it might not They were be, coming down. Yeah, it might not be a very high climb before you get to normal level. Uh, lower... Uh, is unexplored and will take you deeper into the depths of the uh, cavern, which you know nobody else knew about a freaking dragon, and nobody's probably been to the bottom of this cavern either. So, and this is exactly what I thought, Copius, and explain to you. Well, Copius is really en- enraptured by the the explanation. Yes, absolutely. Are we going? Are we going south down into the cavern? Down into the cavern. Down, down, down. You're going down into down. the cavern at four p.m. ish, uh, and this looks like a good spot to stop for the day. Uh, Manfang, uh, you and your left testicle. What did you think? Uh, my left testicle's not too happy. I'm 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 all right with it, but. For the one hour I was here, I thought I did great. Yeah, I, I, I think your groin would agree. 
Uh, Robert, what'd you think? I think slaughtering level ones was exciting for the day. I'm glad I had the opportunity to do that. You know, um, you don't get any experience points for deucing these guys, right? <laughs> I, I thought I, I just went for the visual. We could have done it any other way, but I thought watching the side of that cliff go and explode and their bodies just chunks getting flung out would have oh, been yeah. an awesome effect. You need to be put in an insane asylum. I, I, I agree with both of you, actually, on that one. Yeah. Uh, Nick, both and a doctor. Um, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Yeah, because you didn't get your groin snapped. <laughs> Not like Man Fang. Uh, we I call mean... him the Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> or Hitler. <laughs> uh, AJ, what'd you think? I enjoyed it as well. I'm glad my testicles were intact. And I am very disappointed that we didn't get to loot the bodies on the level one characters. Thanks there, Robert. I'm sure, there was magic. I, you still look like a porcupine, by the way, because you never said you removed the era. Oh, damn. You know. They were well cooked too. That might have been some good eating feeling. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jason, what'd you think? Uh, I I was trying to make plans for what to do with a permanently statued Felix. I thought we could take him to a, 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 a another pink house type establishment for the, sure. the garden or the foyer. Sell him to a cigar store. Or, yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Be out there permanently, and it was it was really fun to imagine that until I fumbled my own contract. I, I was going to say uh, you spoke a little bit too early on that one, but you know at least you did get back in the game just in time to see the trail destroyed, blow up. Uh, and Frank Senior, what'd you think? Oh, it wasn't near as much destruction as I wanted, and I'm. Really ashamed that Felix got beat up by a bunch of little kids, but you know, hopefully things will be better next week. No little kids, and, and he can. And even though Manfang lost a nut, Felix lost his manhood. <laughs> I lost my manhood as well. Yeah, <laughs> Manfang only has a fifty percent chance of having babies. Um, thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, no, I've been slipping, slipping him some sterilization. <laughs> that would explain the rapid height growth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> folks, this has been the Tri-Generational Slash Hard New Campaign. Thanks for joining us. We hope you had a good time. At least I hope you had a better time than Manfang did. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, the link is down there. Don't forget, if you want dice that knock out testicles, uh, try uh, <laughs> Big Red from At Pirate Dog. <laughs> and if you uh, want to get some cool adventure sense that smells like groin pain, uh, I don't think they have that yet at oddfishgames.com, but check them out. Don't forget, you got their Kickstarter coming up. You got their Shine system. And if you go to Gen Con and want to kill off a few hours by sitting on your butt, uh, hit them up. Uh, they uh, need some booth help. So they would really appreciate it. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. We will see you Tuesday on Between the Rolls. Time for the dating game Kiss and Wave. Mwah, bye, everybody. Have a great weekend.